Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to repair corrupt system files on your Windows 10 computer. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by analyzing a few different scenarios here. So the first one would be if you're able to boot into Windows, which is ideal. The second one would be if you're unable to boot into Windows at all. So in this tutorial I'm going to be covering a couple different options for you guys but we're going to get to the same conclusion. So the first thing I'd recommend doing if you're able to get into Windows would be to head over to the Start button and left click on it and then left click on the Power button right here and then while holding down the Shift key on your keyboard left click on Restart. Now if you're unable to boot into Windows you will have the ability to boot options off of the utility and I have made tutorials like that in the past But you want to get to a screen that you'll be able to run a command line window or command prompt. So underneath choose an option here. I'm going to select troubleshoot. Now I'm going to select advanced options. And then I'm going to select startup settings. And now I'm going to click on this restart button. and you should be able to get to these settings if you download the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. So it says please press a number to choose from the options below. Pure Safe Mode Networking is going to be F5 so I'm going to tap the F5 key on my keyboard. Might be different for you guys but you just want to be patient here as we'll take a couple seconds. And if you get any pop-ups, just click on this close button right here. And now what we're going to do is right click on the start button. And you want to left click on where it says command prompt and in parentheses admin. Okay, so now what you want to do is type in chk dsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. And then you want to hit enter. It says, would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? You want to type Y and then hit enter. And then you can close out of the command line window. And now you want to restart your computer.
So guys, this is going to take a little bit of time to run. Now depending on how large your hard disk that you're scanning is, it might take a little bit longer for some than others. But it shouldn't take more than an hour or two. And once this is done scanning and we get back into Windows, I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to log back into our computer here. And hopefully the prompt has been restored for you guys. If it has not, I am going to go through one more quick tutorial or one more quick fix as part of this video to hopefully resolve any residual problems you might have. Okay, so hopefully you've been able to get back into your computer and a log file has been created for your reference. If that still did not resolve your problem, what I recommend doing is opening up an internet browser. Doesn't matter which one, I'm going to open up Edge here. And you want to navigate over to google.com and you want to type in tweaking utility Windows and one of the best matches that comes up should say tweaking.com Windows Repair Free Slash Pro so you want to left click on that one time and we're going to be downloading a free utility to hopefully get rid of any residual problems you might have okay so if you scroll down a little bit on this page should be something that says portable here. You want to download it directly from the site. So click on the download button. It's about 34, 35 megabytes, so it shouldn't be that big of a download. It shouldn't take too long. Here's I'm accidentally downloading it twice. So let me get rid of the one. And once it's finished downloading, I'm just going to open it up. Alright, so there should be something that says tweaking.com. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to extract it to a specified folder. I'm going to designate it to be the desktop just so we can easily access it here. Okay, so at this point I'm going to close out of all the open programs and windows here. And we have this new file on the desktop. So I'm going to double click on it to open it up. And there should be something that says repair windows in this folder. Right next to file type should say application. I'm going to double click on it. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. You want to agree to the end user license agreement. And then I recommend clicking on this jump to repairs button. You want to open repairs. And you want to keep all of them check marked here. And you can see all the stuff that it's going to check for and hopefully repair, all of which should be free and no cost to you. And then you want to select start repairs right here. And then you want to let this run. It will take some time to run. And once it's done, you want to just see what the end result is. Hopefully it should be able to fix any problems it finds automatically. And you just restart your computer and that should be about it. So I hope this tutorial helped you out guys, and as always thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.